Hey YouTube, um, this is Jake here. I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, update your iPod to 3.1.2 and how to jailbreak it. So let's see. I already got the things up to uh, <clears throat> update it to 3.1.2. You go to a website called flexbruns.day. So I don't know if I pronounced it right. Sorry for the black line kind of interrupting me, but yeah, you got an iPod firmware. Yeah, iPod Touch is the one you're going to be trying to get. So go down to the bottom part right here where it says iPod, I, iPhone. Scroll down. Uh, click whichever one you have. I don't know which one you have, but this is the one I got because I have the iPod 2G and I'm trying to update it to 3.0. That one actually doesn't work. See? It says like this download doesn't work. That's what I was mainly trying to do, so I just went to this one, the 3.1.2. You click download. And then you like you know save file and all that. Then when you after you do that, it'll like have an icon right here, iPod, this thing right here. So it'll just like save it to your desktop. I guess that's easier to like find. I guess. Then you have your iPod plugged in, which mine isn't plugged in. I'll do that real quick. I know I could like stop the video and stuff, but I'm trying to do this without editing it. I'm just going to try to upload it straight to YouTube. It'll save me a lot of time. So, bear with the, um, the slowness, I guess. So, yeah. Here's the iPod. Now, after you have downloaded that, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the, this screen right here. You hold the shift button down on your keyboard and click restore. And then something will pop up about, like changing it so you just like you know agree click ok and whatnot and then it'll uh, make you restore and uh, see I, I got an alien thing it's pretty cool marijuana <laughs> um so after that happens it'll restore and you know sync all your shit on it it that's a pain in the ass trust me this is a lot easier right here uh, after you do that you're gonna try to you go to the website called black rain spelled with an I or a one as an I right there, blackgrain.com, and then it'll have something like this, and you just kind of, if you have a Mac, you click that. If you have this, you click that, and um, you know, just save file. And then after you save the file, it'll look like you get that, and you'll get that, those two things. And then all you need to do is just double click it, and then you click run, and then it'll just have one little simple box like that big or something like that. And it has an X button right here, and all it says is make it rain. So click make it rain, and it'll just do the rest for you. And uh, the 3.1.2, the cool thing about it is it has a search engine. Like, okay, see your home right now, and you just scroll over, and you can type in things. Like, here's a song you want to find. See, V. I have a few songs with V and M, and it helps it find it easy. Also, uh,. It's kind of it, but <laughs> so after this, you will click on this icon right here. It looks like that, and it gives you two items. You click Cydia, like you could click a rock, it's like Cydia, but Cydia is way better. So download that, and then you have Cydia right there. Um, in Cydia, I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to do this, so you know, you just go to search. Um, type in your stuff and like when you click search you're gonna want to type in winter board get winter bo board get make it mine right there if you want uh, so you can change that and that uh, categories that's, that's come that comes in handy if you have a lot of icons mixtube's a good one it's just like youtube where you can download them and save them on your ipod iphone whatever uh another thing is how to get free apps see i already have a few touch grind rope and fly Epic Pet Wars, that is probably <laughs> the best game. <laughs> so, in CDA, you download what's called Install Us, which I'm pretty sure you have saw the icon on my iPod. <clears throat> you could also do this on this on the computer while it's loading. Or it's already loaded, so. Anyways, uh, you go to like. Um, let me type this up real quick. Um, 
epilo.us. Alright, see right, right here? It is um, HTTP, you know that, epilo.us. This part, you can, it just takes you to the homepage, but like, uh, it has this secret thing, like a question. It's really hard. Um, if it has the same question as me, like, I've already looked, got past the question, so it doesn't ask me, but it's something that, like, the answer is, um, caverns, like, C-R-A-V-E-N-S, or something like that, I don't know how to spell, but yeah, and then you could just, like, you know, go to search, you search, say, you want real soccer, who the hell would want that? I'm gonna show you on here, on the computer, and on here, afterwards, but, okay, after you install, install us, you wanna go to manage, sources and then you want to go edit add and then you type in cydia.hackulo.us that right there hackulo.us and you click add source and it'll do it and you know you go it's right there and it has all these things see there's install us right there have that downloaded and then afterwards you go to the install us right there install us you know it's the same as this. It's Apulus or Apulo.us, which is Apulus. And this, it takes you to this website, but it's on like mobile. So, okay, you click Real Soccer. It has it in the background. You just kind of scroll down. Here's the uh, info and stuff. And here's a bunch of download links. You normally, like, here's the versions right here. As you get lower down the page, it gets lower versions. So, just, you know, always best to get the top version. And then always, you don't always, but like, uh, try to get the top one right here, like the top one right here, or yeah, these are the only two right now. Um, only two versions, so just get the top ones. You go to App Scene, and then you like type in this code right here and click Download, and you click Save File. Like I don't want to do it because I don't want to accidentally get it on my computer. Then you click after that, it'll click Save File or Open File With or something like. Click Save File. It's a lot easier. So save the file, uh, there's my Epic Pet Wars file, and then afterwards you can go to iTunes, Applications, there it is, sync your iPod, but this is the easier way, is go to Apulus on here, and you know, search, search up, tap tap. <clears throat> just gonna pick this first one, just to not take a lot of time. Here's all the shit, you don't need to know this. I'm just gonna actually get this song. So you can see click the first one. Now I gotta type in this code. You can witness me doing it. Alright, there's the code right there. JH9G, so I'm gonna type that in. JH9, that's a zero, 9G. Okay, now here is the part that it just is the most important, I guess. You click, there's download, install, you want to click download first, you know, watch it, download. This will probably take quite a while. After it downloads, you know, it'll say 100%, obviously. Uh, you go down to downloads, and then you click it after, make sure it's after, and you click install, and then after you click install, you can go to your homepage, and it'll be there. So, uh, I'm just going to cut this short because it, it just makes it a lot easier for me. So, if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave comments, uh, video responses if you want. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, tell your friends about this. And um, this is 2G iPod Touch, if you guys are wondering. So, thanks for watching. Yes, this is a scab. I don't know how it got there. We'll look past that, and I will see you guys in my next video. See you later.